In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement ordinal encoder visually using Excel. Hey Data Geeks, my name is Kunal. I help you master data science through non-linear methods of learning. So before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out on any of the awesome tricks to learn data science. Now I have with me columns ID, two binary variables, two nominal variables, two ordinal variables and target. All of this variable should be ordinally encoded. So let's see how we can do one of them first. So I'm going to pick the ordinal one variable and see how we're going to implement or execute this particular example. I'm going to take the values that are present within this particular list, place it here. And then I'm going to now go to the data tab and remove duplicates. This is the first step we need to take to begin doing ordinal encoding. And so I'm going to copy this list and paste it in this particular table that I created. Now I have five different unique values within this ordinal variable. Ordinal encoding is generally done by assigning a number to that particular value, right? So for example, ideally novice is zeroth position and then contributor is one, master is two, expert is three, and the grandmaster is five, right? So this is the order in which these variables have importance, right? And you also can assign basically randomly any of these values, but it should be in the incre incremental order. In Python, all of these steps are taken care automatically. So you don't have to really do all of the things that I'm doing here. Within this example, now we have coded all of these unique values. Now we need to put it back within this particular data, right? So to put it back, you're simply going to do a VLOOKUP. So I'm going to VLOOKUP Grandmaster within all of this, fix the entire table, get the second column and say exact match. Now, once I do that, I'm going to copy this and paste special formulas to get all of these labels. Now, once I got this, this is how the variable will be encoded. All we have to do is delete this particular variable and we should be done. Let's implement this at scale for all the variables that we have here. Notice I have binary nominal variables and ordinal variables. So what I'm going to do now is to implement it in a way that is just uh, standard for all of them. And I'm going to randomly place the labels for all of these variables so, so that you get the idea. But keep in mind that the labels are placed according to what the hierarchy is there within that particular data. Okay. I'm going to first begin by taking all of these variables, placing it here. Okay. And now I have all of these uh, values. I'm going to introduce one, one column beside each of them. Okay. Then I'm going to take this one and say data remove duplicates. Similarly, I'm going to take this one, data, remove duplicates. Similarly, remove this one, remove duplicates. And take this one, say remove duplicates. And take this one and say remove duplicates. So once this is done, we now have to assign the labels. And so I'm just going to zoom in while we are going to do that. Okay, so now to assign the labels, I'm just going to use these variable names itself. And for true, I'm going to assign one, one, and this one is going to be false. So zero for green, blue, and red, I can just randomly assign it because it is not an ordinal variable. And for nominal, this one is again 0, 1, 2, and 3, and till 5. For this one, we already know what the order is. So I'm going to just take this particular order and paste it here. And for this one, it's going to be, um, you know, we have to decide what the order is. Again, we can randomly place it, but I'm just going to go to the right thing here. So it's going to be freezing, probably zero, then cold, then hot, boiling hot, and then 
4. Okay, maybe this is 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, we should place here 4. Okay, so that is corrected. So now we basic so now so now we have all the labels assigned. All we have to do now is insert them within this particular data. So to do that, we are going to insert few columns here. And I'm going to call all of these variables here and paste it here. Okay, there's an extra one, so I'm going to delete that. So these are the variables that are present that we need to be labeling and i'm just going to now put them um, into a label right so i'm just going to say ordinarily encoded right so basically we know it's it's different from the variables that we have there okay so they are now encoded i can just expand this one and now what we have to do is look up each of these variables from this particular list. So to do that, I'm just going to zoom out again. And I'm going to say is equal to VLOOKUP. Look up this value within this particular table. Fix it, say 1, comma, sorry, say 2, comma, exact match. Similarly, this one, I'm going to say VLOOKUP nominal value here select this particular table f4 comma 2 comma false i'm going to say is equal to v lookup lookup nominal one comma select this table f4 comma 2 comma exact match similarly is equal to v lookup the second one the first one comma select this table f4 comma 2 comma exact match and similarly is equal to we look up the last column the last table f4 2 comma exact match so now we have all of this we look up done i can now simply copy this one and paste the formulas down so there you have it guys this is how ordinal encoding runs in the background within the python sklearn library now you now you have an idea of how this is visually done you can be confident about writing your codes on python if you like this particular video you're going to like the one that i'm going to create on python where i'm going to explain how the ordinal encoding works within python and, and how to optimize the code to implement it better Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.